Thunder rocked Yankee Stadium moments ago. That's Brett Gardner and company getting shocked just as we did in the booth and just as the Red Sox did on their side of the field. Jared Saltalamacchia says, I'm out, no mas. One, two, pitch. In the air, up the line and right. Gibbons can't find it. I'm not sure Chuck Merriweather could either. It landed fair. The skill to the plate. He's asking for help right from the beginning. And what I was talking about earlier in the ball game, Jay Gibbons lost the ball in the snow. He could not see the You can tell he's talking to the Wow. That knocked the players are coming off the field whether they want them to or not. Yeah. The Holy Warner. cow. Willingham at first base went down on all fours. I don't blame him. Wow. That knocked me down. That thing came out of nowhere. Sure did. Here's a 3 2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One on, one out. Now, how does he see this? Rain, it's not going to take long for this field to puddle up either, but they're going to try to get these next couple of outs. I don't know how they can play in these conditions. I will say this it's incredibly great. This is a beautiful day back there. This looks like it's more of a bear's. Keeping the tarp under control until the stakes were able to be driven into the ground right here. And now look at the, on the end, you can see the rain, uh, the wind, excuse me, picking it up and the, the rain on top of the tarp is being thrown all over the place toward the guys at the end of first base out on the far end by the uh, end of the out. It's kind of here we go. whipping up pretty quick. Yeah. We're, we're seeing video right now, Robbie, of again, yeah. uh, one of the yeah, members that, of the grounds crew getting scary. caught up in that tarp. This is reminiscent, I believe it was in Colorado when the Philadelphia Phillies players were involved in. I mean, literally, right when we came back, it was like a, a he says, immediately said, get off the field. He's getting everybody off the field and the grounds crew will pull the tarp. There's not a speck of rain. This is three hours at Coors Field. First the rain came and it really rained. And then it decided to hail. How much hail? How about an, about an inch? So much so that home plate umpire Laz Diaz was making a snowball. At home plate. And tons of bugs now around home plate. Uh-oh. We're getting swarmed on the field. Look at everybody's hit the deck. The bees again. Oh my gosh, I've never seen that. Bees on the move, apparently. Squalls now, baby. This is start, starting to stick on the yeah, back of the uniform. here in a minute. Yeah. Feels like we're at Lambeau. Yeah. So Snow on May the 2nd. Snow is falling at Kauffman Stadium. The Royals have a 1 nothing lead. Come a snow delay. And the snow is coming down pretty heavy now. And all this started before the Royals came up in the bottom of the fourth inning. They're out there enjoying the snow. How many major leaguers have ever seen it snow in the middle of a game? So they. With Hopefully. How about 39? Okay, I'll buy that. I'll buy that. I think you were right within our rule of thumb. If it's white stuff flying in the air, it's it's well, it's 32 or below. <laughs> the wind chill, you know. Look at that. This is quite a sight. I mean, here we are in late April, and it is really starting to snow now. It is April 22nd, everybody. <laughs> I think they're going to light the tree at Rockefeller Center. <laughs> Price looking for that final strike. The wind is whipping. The snow is falling. Gilden. Oh, my goodness. That hit somewhere nearby. I guarantee it. Wow. Now they're running off the field. Man. Scare the birds out of the area. My goodness. Yeah, that's a... Uh... He's opened up. Watch the guy in the middle of the tarp. The grounds crew member got Ooh. stuck and he's going for a tarp ride. Tarp surfing. It's a dangerous business. <laughs> now, uh, he finally had to crawl his way back. They took the bullpens off the side of the field here this year, put them underneath the stands, one on each side of the field, so the two bullpens can see each other. 
only through the TV monitor. So oftentimes, the two bullpens during these delays will put on shows for the other relief corps and the other bullpen and watch this work in performance art between the Diamondbacks and the Cubs. <laughs> Archie Bradley does his thing, then they answer with horses. Diamondbacks go, okay, we see that. T.J. McFarland puts on his uniform upside down and backwards. And then this, the oh, bobsled. This is beautiful. <laughs> Four-man bobsled going down the... <laughs> Here they go. <laughs> Whee! And then the big finish. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, man. So now what do the Cubs do for an encore? They have to come up with something here. Going to be hard to top the bobsled bit. So they, you might like this, BB. Uh, I do like this, yeah. Carl Wait. Edwards Jr. Watch the left of the screen. Here comes the fish. He'll get a little bump there. Oh, oh he's the got hook, a bite. The hook. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a big one. And then bowling as they bowl Ruby De La Rosa for the 7 10 split. Chafin. Go down. Yes. Got it. <laughs> Jake Barrett <laughs> picks up the split. Now it's the Cubs' turn to respond. Oh, they got nothing. They got nothing. We win. <laughs> Boy, the bar has been set very high for bullpen antics this year because you know...